morning, I'm Lynn and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. Today as we go through our morning routine, we'll watch some lamb races, we'll check out our new straw, we'll trim some hooves, we'll release some more ewes from the jugs, and we'll feed the bottle babies. So let's get started. chores and it's too loud to speak. So these girls, like we've said before, are getting about a pound of grain ahead. We got pregnant ewes in the back, and we've got lactating ewes up front. And it's a mixture of corn and barley, about 50-50. On this side we have the new lambs. And you see how they are, they're all exploring that creep area now? Even though they're brand new, they've discovered that this is a private area where they can uh, just be with other lambs and no user around. They actually like that. And on this side are the older lambs and the ones in there are uh, playing in the creep area plus they're uh, nibbling on the creep feed. Oh, and now they might decide to have a little lamb race. If we're lucky. The races will be much faster tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be a really cold day and today is still a hot day. So you don't get quite the speed in hot weather as you do in the cold. I'm really betting that. Oh, look at that little girl. Oh, you know who that little girl is? That little bruiser on the platform? That's Pinky. Pinky's mom is the one who got the blood in her udder. And I called it mastitis. I don't know if that is what it was, if she just had some damage, but uh, antibiotics treated it right away and look at the lamb she's produced. Pinky's one of the best ones in there. And the reason I'm saying she's one of the best ones in there is uh, her confirmation and her growth. She's very long, she's very muscular already. She's got good bone and legs under her. 
not that the other lambs aren't good, it's just that she's a standout. My, mat, my past uh, two videos were kind of grainy and I couldn't figure out what was going on and I think uh, somehow pocket dialing or whatever turned the HD quality off on my phone so I'm trying with a higher resolution today to see if that was the problem. I'm hoping that is what the problem was because I was a little concerned about that. Seen Toonie for a while. She's here. Toonie, wanna show your face? There we go. Hi, we haven't seen you for a while. Hello, hi, how are you? Hi, Toonie. I know. Toonie's pretty, but you're friendly giving the lamb some straw and we wanted to see how <laughs> how this is our straw we wanted to see if it would roll out like the hay did because it was very handy when it rolled out but the straw is so finely cut that it doesn't stick together so it didn't roll out so this is means that the straw is going to be a little more labor intensive the lambs love it they, they think it's a big uh, straw ramp probably didn't take much longer it just made more dust so <coughs> I gotta leave too dusty but uh, that's what we're gonna have to do from now on because they won't roll out that's for sure oh this side's a bit lumpy the anal part of me wants to flatten that out but it looks pretty now Tomorrow's a cold day, so some nice fresh bedding will be nice to keep them nice and cozy. Okay, now the last barn to be done is the keepers. Rams at the front, the girls are all at the back. They do have a d double dividing wall back there so that the rams don't get any ideas. Killer's not feeling well, but he did come up for food. We don't know what's wrong with him. So, this is the mom who causes all our grief. She's getting trimmed and dewormed today. There's no one in that pen, so we're gonna let her go with one other you, and we're gonna see how that works. I'm not expecting trouble now. But you never know. I'll shut this in case she gets away on you. Okay, now she's going to get a nice deworming. Hand it to him so it faces down. And there we go. We're going to let her go. See how this turns out. Well, because the, the, the lambs had a traumatic experience. <laughs> so 
so far so good. I think it's going to be fine. She just had a, a mental break and is back to normal again. I'm going to give her some twins for company. There you go. We got the lamb is out. She's getting her trimming. She's going to get a deworming. And we'll see how she gets along with the other mom. This afternoon we're going to let the last two out. are waiting for her and now we'll just let her let her through this you actually adopted uh, a lamb from a you who had uh, half an udder so she's uh, got a gold star this, and the male that ran out there was the adopted one She's right there. She's right there calling you. Can't you hear that? <coughs> Look, she walked out and you have to watch your mom. There you go. <coughs> and they're staying in their groups. That mom's staying with her lamb. These two are staying with her. They got a big pen to get used to each other right now. Okay, miracle of all miracles. <laughs> Arnie, stop it. Stop doing that. It's rude. <laughs> we had these showing off in March. Uh, yeah, well, Dorsets have a lot of wool. Anyway, miracle of all miracles. We're releasing the last two ewes from our fall group out of the jugs. We do have four more to lamb, but they're uh, not imminent, I don't think. So we're going to get these guys into the group pen, and uh, they'll stay in there a day, and then we'll bring them over to the barn. And it'll be just waiting for the next four to go. This fall lambing went extremely well. And extremely fast, it seemed. So, while Arnie's having fun with her, and she's got quite the hairdo there, too. Look, look at that hairdo. Arnie, can she even see? <laughs> so, what we're going to do while he's doing that is we're going to have a little peek on how these guys did and look doesn't she look like a fantastic you with a fantastic glam nice and calm good mom good baby staying close together that's my wild girl I don't know what happened to her but she's perfectly fine now and she's in a group she's with her lamb this mom's with her too her lambs wanting to make friends with the other two all is good, and now they're going to get, these two both have twins, so we're going to add four more to the group, and then there's one in the good, in the watch pen that I'm going to flip over to this pen tomorrow. It was just a small one. It was in there because I wanted it to grow a little more, but I think it's fine too, so I'm going to switch that one over here, and then once this group goes to the coverall, uh, we'll take down that wall until the next sheep lamb, and we'll let the watch group have the whole pen to play in. They'll like that. Here's the first family group to leave. It's a little dark in here right now because, um, well, it is near supper time, but uh, looks like we got a little bit of rain. It's been extremely dry. So we did need it, and all. Oh, and here's the next group with Wooly Face. She can only see from this side, I think. Yeah, you gotta bring them over, buddy.
can tell these ones are just a little bit smaller. The smaller ones have a smaller bath. So these guys all have to sort themselves out tonight, but at least they're free. They'll be happy about that. It's bottle feeding time. I try to feed the bigger ones first and then they're out of the way and then they don't knock the little ones off so they'll still hang around but they're usually pretty good and it calms down afterwards Okay, someone said that this lamb should be called Seymour. Seymour because he's always in the photos. Really? <laughs> So this is Seymour, who is what, a month old, not even, three weeks old? Yeah. Three weeks old, and I can barely carry him. He's so heavy. For a dorset, he might go a pound a day. Oh my God. Like, is that heavy? Yeah. Say bye, Seymour. Bye bye. I don't think he likes it then. <laughs> I, can't, I can't hold him. That's heavy. He's number eight. He's not the heavy. Oh, he's number eight. Yeah. Because he's the one who always went into the picture. Yeah. But I think he might be heavier than that number two, see? I think... I, I see th the weight? Yeah. Right? See the rump? I think number eight is a little thicker yeah. than number two. Number That's two right. should be a little taller. You try lift that. That's a freaking heavy lamb. But some people might say that uh, it's, it's a, a, too, a little too big for a dorsal thing. I don't think so. These, these guys are proportionate on their so we fed the bottle babies we got Seymour up to the camera barely because he actually weighs a lot and here's Buddy and Tom these two have made friends and we'll share the same food bowl but Scotty over there who's the original barn cat here. He likes to eat in private, doesn't like to be with those other two. So that's it for today. I hope you'll join us again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.